I pray for you. This week you shall hear good news. Good news of joy. Good news of celebration. Good news of multiplication. Good news of fruitfulness. Good news of divine connection. As you step out this week, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord cause His face to shine on you. In Jesus' name. I'm talking about relationship. 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 Relationship, relationship. The question is, do you have relationship with God? I've seen several people that some even stop coming to church because they believe that I don't have time with them in talking to them in this. The question is, are you building your relationship on me? Or are you building your relationship on God? I make up my mind never to beg anyone that say because you are not talking to me and stop coming to church. I will give you transport to another church. I go and continue the same thing with a full anointing but empty relationship with God, Pastor. I can't just make myself available for you all the time. No. Because the more you grow, the more you need prayer. You don't use the eyes of 2013 to consider me and, your, me and you now. No. Not that level is changing physically, but level is changing spiritually. Because the more people come, the more body come. The more I need to go to God on your behalf. Don't forget you are not the only one in the church. Anytime, please, brother or sister, I want to beg you on this. Anytime anybody walks here and say, because that is not talking to me, that's why I'm not coming to church. Tell the person, how much is your transport to the other church? I beg you in the name of God. Give the person money. To do what? To go. Because on the last day, I'm not the one to take you to heaven. It is your relationship. God. Have righteousness and holiness. No eyes. I have a spiritual father, but I've never sit down with him face to face. And I love him. I'm paying my tithes to his account on a weekly basis. I'm sowing my seed to him on a weekly basis. But you don't need to see me because I connect and he's going to speak. Grace is all about I shake your hand. Grace is all about spiritual connectivity. Do you know you can be in Lagos here you are still a member of this church? You can be in Anambra. I have people outside Abuja, Nasarawa, Lagos, Ibadan, this, that, that they are still paying tight to the church account. They are still connecting in, in uh, maybe on YouTube, online, Facebook, and all that. So what am I saying now? For example, now, if God take me away now today, I go to God in glory. Can you still remain in the church? Because to those who think that the relationship they built on me determine their service, in other words, any day I'm no longer in this church again, they are no longer in the church. But the one that have not seen me, the one that I'm not eating with, the one I'm not talking with, they are coming to church. I want to do it. I said, there is somebody in the church. This person has been with us from day one up to now. But the person has never come to me one on one before. And I walk to the person. I say, you know they get problem to come and meet me. Say, sir, I'm not coming to church because of you. I'm coming to church because I love God. Yes, if Enoch had built them in his relationship with his father, who have not gone to God, in rapture. Because my leader did not call me. You make your leader now, your service. The main leader is not checking on me. If nobody check on you, check on yourself. Sir, serving God is not butter and bread, sir. I told the pastor yesterday night, I said, how many people did God really call? How many people obey? No. How many people are serving God today because they are serving God as a pastor because I want to eat. 
if you check the, the punishment, if you check the suffering that attached to God calling in Papi, pastor will not be up to 10. I'm telling you, pastor will not be up to what? Because if you see suffering, sir, it's too loud. He said what? Even five. Have you, have you seen the sufferings and suffer in this ministry? Sufferings? Then somebody will not come today and start controlling me. Come on. To, to hell. To hell. No. That's why I don't build my God relationship based on man. I've never called anybody in this church and say, Church needs help. Give me one million in your hand. I may have ever called anyone. If God cannot do his work, let it remain undone. I have people here who have never called me once. But they have some people, you know, call me yesterday, you know, call me today, you know, come today. They even use their own problem to collect the work of God from my hand. It's true, sir. It's true. So if you want to serve God, serving God is passionate. It really says, seek your pastor first. Matthew 6, 33. Seek me first. Seek me first. Seek Matthew 6, who is on the table, and verse 33. And shall we read together? Matthew 6, and verse 33. It says, seek me first, my kingdom, and my righteousness. What will I follow? Oh. You know, since I entered this Abuja, eh, I have never in my life visited any pastor that, before I become a pastor, that please pray for me. I have never in my life, please, I hear say anointing day here, that's why I come. Check my problem for me. No, no pastor in this, in this Abuja, in the whole world. I, I, did I know our problem there? My problem was bigger. My problem is even bigger than bigger. No food to eat for almost five months. You'll be going up and down with empty belly. But yet, I have never gone to any pastor. Yet, I was inside a completed building because the pastor I want to go to have problem. I can't use my problem to have a your problem. Face your problem, I face my problem. But we serve God together, we grow together. You know, say, he said, let them grow together. Because when the master comes, he will separate the sheep from the boat. So I entered dry fasting. Five months. How many months? Five months. Five months. That is why I believe in this. Some people will look who is the spiritual father of this person? Who is this? Who is that? When time comes, you shall know. When time you see some certain son eh, as a pastor. Begin to call their father in life, that is problem today, problem tomorrow, when which crowd enter. When you know say which you don't know say which crowd will enter before you start the ministry, which crowd will enter. So you don't build your relationship on you start disturbing your father. You see this one. I say a pastor was saying there is a particular son of his as a son in the Lord. He has his own ministry. But every time, one small attack, ha, that they don't come home, he just asks him back. If you know say God not call you, close the church. Close the church. Are you, do, are you not going to expect attack before? He said you will suffer many tribulation. Many what? Tribulation. You don't come to church, and I know that it's because you did not see me in counseling, or I did not call you. You call, I did not pick. I'll give you transport. We have been doing a 24 hours with God, 48 hours with God, this, that, that. Am I talking to somebody here? Please, you need God yourself. You need God yourself. You need God yourself. Sometimes we'll be in the job, people are mobbing. There's a particular sister I love so much. Her name is Grace. I'll say, come here. I just want to talk to her, but she will never come to you. She just believe that Grace is working for me. And that in now, give me rest. He came in place. There's a sister here that traveled. Is it sister here? Whatever. She has never. She has a lot of problems, but she has never run. Why? Anytime you see him, that the please give me one man too. Anytime you will see her, that is peace. I'm not the Lord. Bless it for me. And she goes. And problem are solved. I've never gone to any pastor, sir. 
He said, see, check, lay hand on me. This, that, no, sir. As you are now, if Trump and sand, what will you tell God? Because your pastor did not call you. <laughs> because your, your men leader, the men leader did not check on you. And you don't know, maybe the men leader said he don't even have a jacket on his own. The women leader, many have given the excuse, my leader, that is why I'm not coming to choir again. Sit down in your house. No call. No serve God. If you serve God, now your leader God will bless. Now you. So whatever you do for God, the blessing is coming on you. As you are now, sir, I don't need to say God bless you. Do you know that you are already blessed? Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. Do you know as you are standing now, you are already what? Yes. Blessed. You are already blessed. Let's get serious. Enough is enough for Indomie Christian, big and butter, big and tea Christian. I'm still repeating when I hear that somebody say, I'm not coming to church. Since you are not becoming, your chair is not empty. Is your chair empty? No. I will leave that church. They don't care. They don't do this. They're... So now only you will go to the cup seat every day. And why some people, this man, this year, this Baba, I've never prayed for him this year though, but you see this Baba? This year, sir. This man have did seven day dry fasting on this altar because of me. How many days? Seven days dry fasting because of me. So this year, he has done three days dry fasting, seven day dry fasting, more than 20 times. Even at the time of coronavirus, he will come. The Lord said, I should come and fast for you for seven days. And he will be in the church and lie down. And I've never given a time to break or whatever. You see, people are fasting because I have problem more than you. The people that are supposed to attack you are coming to me. You don't get what I'm saying now? You don't see what is happening to Shepard Bushiri now? They chase him out of South Africa now. He's casting out demons every day. I am the one that needs more to be careful. Because people want to attack your pastor in order for you to lose your faith. You see, in Lagos, they call a man, a Salem man, called Prophet Israel. In Lagos now, he has entered jail now, this week. Because of member relationship. We are growing, we are Pastor, run for some certain people. Run from some certain things. Everybody, anything that we put and cup in your hand, run from it. Now, not a lot of people have been going to jail. But, Pastor is in jail. He's, they, they call him... They call him Pastor Israel. Yes, they put him in jail now. See Pastor Sotito Bire. I mean, no, so. Where is he now? In jail. Is he the only pastor that are in this regime? Are there not other Muslims that are doing one even the other? Who don't arrest them? When you know the season you have, you have to behave very carefully. Because nobody will speak for you while the season that all these strategic positions are occupied by other religion. In law, nobody will speak for you. In this, nobody will speak for you. So you have to, your Bible used to say, more humanity. Oh, I know where I'm coming from. I have to be very careful. That's why sometimes when God says, shift from everybody, no matter who you are, I shift. I shift. And I'm hearing from God now, shift from everybody. I communicate with you in the spirit. You come to altar for counseling, but I'm obeying the first of And it does not mean that I hate you or I run from you. It's deep for your good to go to God in prayer, seek the face of God. This woman level must change. Communicating duty that all this fashion I'm doing is for, for me. No, it's for you. And when it's better for you, it's better for me. So you that I'm praying for, are you praying? God, are you communicating to God now in your house? Now, but a vent of a rat appear with snake edge. So, what will you do? And you call my number, my number did not go. What do you do <laughs> now? That is it now. Am I right? Because you can't be expecting you that if you come in the morning, I pick, come in the afternoon, I pick, come in the night, I pick. No, sir. When are you going to stand? Let him that think that he stand. He will take it. Let's walk. Me, I need to take it. Talk less more of you. 
It is very easy for somebody on the ground to bring the one on top down. But the question is, are you dreaming for yourself? Are you hearing God? Are you seeing? Can you pray by yourself? Can you burn by yourself? Can you look by yourself? That's why a sister was challenging a brother here. He said, what happened, happened to you because you, 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 you are very lazy in communicating with God. You are very lazy in relationship with God. Now, some people, they don't even have, even to bath, they don't bath, don't bless or to pray. As they wake up here, I don't let no time for devotion, no time for prayer, not even silent time. Do you know it can be silent in the spirit and God is hearing you from the heart. That's the prayer that works faster. So, in a day, what time do you schedule in the spirit with God? Or you can call it life in the spirit. And Enoch walk with God and it did not work. Number one, the relationship could define you automatically for eternity. You and God relationship could define you for what? Eternity. Those that have genuine relationship with God never die the second death. Just like a man called Enoch, he never died the second death. In Genesis 5, 22, Enoch walked with God. And when you see in verse 24, he walked with God. Let's jump to 24. He walked with God and he was not. Why? For God took him by himself. Same relationship. Same communion. Same communion. That God was able to talk to Enoch. Uh, 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 how are you? How are the service today? And look at it. This is God on earth. This is Enoch. And they are going. How are you? How was the service yesterday? How is your children? How is this? How is that? I love you. Every day you talk to me. I love the way you talk to me. I love our relationship. Uh, do you see how heaven is? Have you seen my angels before? Have I have to... That's how they are going on. They begin to communicate. Until God talk, talk, talk with Enoch and God carry on. From the earth to heaven. Nobody sees his grave. Sir. The only thing that made me get angry in life is when I did not hear God in one minute. In how many minutes? One. If I did not hear God in one minute, I'm in trouble. I would think that maybe God has done something. Now, come. Say relationship. We're coming to church on Thursday. Am I right? And suddenly I back. What did I do? Lay down on the road. And I park on the main road. And God said, come down. And I stepped down. And people were coming like this on the main road. And people were coming like this. He said, get out of the car. Did you have car when I call you? And I said, no, sir. And I said, leave down now on the road. Lift your two hands up. And people were watching me on the ground. And some people here will chastise you will leave the church. Shame unto that person. For you are too big for God to talk to. And I went on my knee, lift my two hands to heaven. And do you know what God said to me? He said before, from first service to sixth service, once you get to the altar, you go on your knee. But now, since when, before you start the message, do you lead down? Uh, so now you are getting big. You are getting purpose. So I have to disgrace you publicly. So now when you remember how you live on the road, you will come down to the altar and you have been seeing me in every service. <laughs> on my what? Examine. So God examined me and he saw where I was for. Please examine yourself. Build adequate, genuine, intimacy relationship with your heavenly father. Before anything happens, you will sense it in your spirit. You can even see it for your pastor. You can see it for your prophet. Just the way Samuel saw it for Ella. Am I right? He heard the voice of the Lord, but the master did not hear. 
Elisha was a prophet, but the servant have to detect where we are is too small. Let's move further. Follower with a great vision. Sometimes, leader, listen to the voice of your follower because they have something to say. They say something does not mean them that they are above you. God can use them for you. Clap your hands together for Jesus. And also, as a wife, you have a relationship with your husband. Is it not quarrel all the time? As a husband, you have a relationship with your wife. There is a time. And sometimes, husband and wife have a relationship, but their children never love to their father and their mother. That is way worn and useless children. In the next service, I believe I will emphasize on that. On the parent, father, mother, and children. And I want you to know, as harvest is coming, it's not going to just be husband harvest, wife harvest. Children have it. It's going to be family harvest. Clap your hands together. Give your two hands to help. Is somebody blessed at all? Say, Jesus, I thank you. Now lift your hands. Say, Father, the way I used to pray before, I want to go back to it. The way I used to worship you before, on my own, I want to worship you again. The way I used to study your word, I want to go back to it. I want to have a special relationship. One on one relationship. Me and you, Jesus. Me and you, Jesus. Me and you, Jesus. Go ahead and talk to him. Go ahead and talk to him. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, we worship him. Lift your two hands to him, whatever you are. This is song. Lift your hand and take this up. Lord, I want to know you more. Lord, I want to live for you. Because I have one life to live. And that life has glorified you. Go ahead. Lift your hand and take that song. Just lift your hand. Just lift your hand.
say amen to thee. Can I say this? Anyone without glory in your family, from today there shall be glory. You are not saying a better amen. Every glory in your father's hand will not be shining. From now, that glory shall begin to manifest. Your marital glory will manifest. Your business glory will manifest. Your calling glory will manifest. Your destiny glory will manifest. Your glory will manifest. I pray.